Alex Real and welcome back to another Tech Tuesday. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your very own channel intro and you probably saw mine a couple of seconds before this all started. <laughs> so that is kind of like the format that I'm going to be following. I am going to show you guys how to fully make your intro from start to finish and it's honestly like so much easier than you would think that it is. I am going to be using Keynote for this tutorial just like I did for my thumbnail tutorial if you guys hadn't checked that out. No I did not grow my hair like overnight. This is, this is a wig. <laughs> Alright so I'm super duper excited. I don't want to spend too much time on this intro so please go ahead and give me a like as well as subscribing. It really does help me out and let's go. Alright, so I'm going to jump right into it. I am just going to pull up Kino, just clicking on the new document, and usually the white background works best, but it honestly does not matter. Right away, I just want to delete these text boxes because we don't need them yet. And the next thing that I want to do is click on this document tab here, go to the slide size, and go to custom slide size. If you guys don't know, the custom YouTube thumbnail is 1280 by 720. It's literally like engraved in my brain at this point because <laughs> I do this so much. But from here we are just going to set a color to your background and you can do anything for this. You can put an image in. If you guys saw my new intro I have the black grid as my background so whatever you guys want to do just do that. Like you don't have to follow this but I'm just trying to make it super simple right now. Okay so I'm just going to make mine yellow. I've been loving the color yellow. And the next thing that I want to do is I'm just going to grab a shape. Let's go for a square since you guys have already seen the circle in my actual intro. So we're just going to put that there. Let's make this like a lighter color like that. And the next thing that we're going to do is click this shadow tab and click on drop shadow. And this is set pretty low. I usually like to have mine at about 18 and 12. I don't know why I just I like those numbers but you can honestly mess around with it and make it however you want to do it that's the cool thing about keynote like as soon as you actually know how to use all the tools you can do whatever you like so we're just gonna have this here and I'm going to put my channel name on it so galaxy it's usually best to not use the same text box for both words since you are going to be making it big and you are going to be moving stuff around to make sure that it looks nice so it's much better to just use two text boxes so change the color of that i always notice that like the white pops off more from any other color so that's the one that i usually use but it doesn't really matter oh that's, that's too big <laughs> So we're going to set that to 100. hope I'm not going too fast. Um, since I did go over a lot of these tools in my thumbnail tutorial, I don't want to like bore you guys who have seen that one, but I also want to make sure that I am just going to pull up Kino, just clicking on the new document, and usually the white background works best, but it honestly does not matter. Right away, I just want to delete these text boxes because we don't need them yet. And the next thing that I want to do is click on this document tab here go to the slide size and go to custom slide size. If you guys don't know, the custom YouTube thumbnail is 1280 by 720. It's literally like engraved in my brain at this point because <laughs> I do this so much. But from here, we are just going to set a color to your background and you can do anything for this. You can put an image in. If you guys saw my new intro, I have the black grid as my background. So whatever you guys want to do, just do that. Like. You don't have to follow this, but I'm just trying to make it super simple right now. Color wheel, it should have the color here, and you can just drag it and put it into one of your slots so that you can reuse it once you get to the next slide, and that's just what we're going to be doing. Click the wheel, paste that there, and do the same thing to the last slide. So this is going to be the base of our intro. This is the part that's always going to stay the same, and you can customize each slide however you would like, and you don't have to do what I'm doing, but... As you guys saw, I had a bunch of little pop-ups like in my intro, so I'm just going to go on Safari and I already have Pinterest pulled up. You can use Google Images, you can use like Tumblr, any website if you just find cool images. But make sure that if you use someone's like art, you credit them. Like I used some art in my intro and I made sure to put the guy's name in my description box for every single video that I use that intro in just because I want to make sure that I'm giving the proper credit. So please don't forget to do that. 
but all you're going to do is just drag this kind of to the side and drag this on to your keynote right here. So we're just going to grab a couple of images. Wow, I really love this sticker. I wish I would have seen this when I was making my intro. That's a, that's a really nice sticker. <laughs> I might use that in my new channel art because I actually have some new channel art coming for you guys. I'm a little excited. So we are going to use the instant alpha tool to get rid of these white boxes around these stickers and you just click on this little image tab and go to instant alpha and then just do this. <coughs> and unlike when you're having like an image of yourself, this is like so much easier. It's just a white background so it comes off super easy and you are again going to go to style and go to the shadow hit drop shadow and as you can see that kind of like makes it pop off the screen and let's just do that to a couple of these okay so now that we have our three stickers I am going to show you guys how to customize them to your liking so the first thing that I like to do sometimes is if I don't like the way that a image is angled I will just go to this arrange tab right here that I just clicked on and go down here to angle and if you just put in like 15 degrees you can move it and if you're trying to do it the other way you just do 360 minus whichever way you do it so it would be like 350 if I wanted to do it the other way as you guys can see but I liked it at 10 degrees so I'm just gonna leave that one like that the next thing that we are going to do is go up here to these tabs and click on animate and we are in the build-in tab right away so you just click on add effect and there are a bunch like when I first discovered Kino, you know, I kind of had to click through all of them, so that's probably what you're going to want to do if you're, you know, looking to make this intro, want to make it like exactly how you want it. So just play with these. They have a whole bunch of different ones, and not only do they have all these options, but you can pick like the direction that it comes in. So for example, you can do it from the other direction. For certain ones, you can like make it angled. You guys can just play with it, like it's not difficult, each little one has its own options, so you can just go look at that. And let's just add the confetti effect to this. And, and as you guys just noticed, that one was like super duper slow, and I don't really like how that looks, so you can just go to this duration and direction section, and change the timing to what you would prefer it to be, and click preview, and see, it is a lot quicker. So. <laughs> I don't know, honestly, like, I love Keynote so much and it baffles me that I never knew about it before. Like, before I started making my own graphics, I always thought it was, like, so difficult and so impossible, but it's just super duper simple as long as you know which tools you need to be using. Alright, so you can also add transitions between your slides and all that you have to do for that is just click on to the next slide and this transitions menu should already be open and if it's not it's just in the animate tab here like it was when we were just doing the clip art so these effects are a little bit different and in my opinion a little bit cooler i think perspective is one of my favorites oh no this is not the one that i thought, thought it was i think the one that i really like is the color yes <laughs> Doesn't that look so cool? I love that one so much and like I said you can play with the direction and that definitely like Changes the look of things and we're just going to click back to our first slide really quickly And I just want to show you guys that you can also customize the order of which your clip art comes in So if you just click on build order, it'll say like which one goes first, which one goes second, and you can actually make them like simultaneous. So you can press this play button and the items that have been animated will kind of come together through the clicks as you continue clicking through it and you can add your own elements, you can do whatever you want, you can have as little or as many slides that you want, like it's totally up to you. I think this is all the tools that I have used. If I was going a little bit fast on any of the specific tools, then you should check out my easy thumbnail tutorial because in that one I do cover a lot more in depth like especially focusing on the instant alpha tool and like more specific on the drop shadows and stuff like that so go ahead and check that out as well all right guys that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed I hope this helped you guys out please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribing and I will see you in my next video